So I only just now realized that my head's been in the wrong place for this game the whole time. Uh, like, the reason I had it in the bottom left corner is because it blocks out... I'm sorry, the reason I had it in the top left corner is because it blocks out stuff that's in the bottom left. Um, but I was playing another game recently where it fit better in the bottom left. So, whoops. Sorry guys. Hope it didn't mess you up too much. I was reading out all the stuff, so it's still fine, right? It's fine. <laughs> you didn't see any names, but it's fine. I don't know, maybe my head didn't block out the names. Whatever. Either way, we're, we're doing this again. Alright, here we go. Just straight attack. Just... Just straight arrow. Just straight jump. And terrain. Alright, that was pretty shoddy, so Rathia might have to check out if we have any cool items. I know we have earthquake items, I don't think we have uh, aero items. But that's okay. Alright, so yeah, his first two attacks are just like normal attacks. Like, it's fine. So, why is he such a jerk later on? Um, whatever. Yeah, go ahead and cure her. Terrain again. So Lunath and Ingus are going to be our big damage dealers uh, this fight. Alright, so the lightning, the lightning hurts. Um, let's see, what... Things do I have? I have Zeus Wrath and Earth and Drums. I don't think the drums are gonna do much against him, so. Um, I don't know, Rep has been going first a lot. We'll go ahead and let her high potion herself. And then Art can just cure everybody. And then Art can just cure raw everybody. Maybe Rekka should start healing Lunath if that's the case. Because Lunath tends to jump. Yeah, see, he's jumping before Ark can get to him. So I will keep that in mind. And there's another lightning. And there's another attack that's, like, almost killing people. Um. Do I have anything that... I mean, I can try and shrink him? Uh, we'll go ahead and try lightning at him, and then... Kira everybody again. And hopefully, um, Lunath will be down by then, by the time Ark cures everybody. Alright, Ark, you better get your cure off before Dude has his attacks. Alright. That's also cool, I guess. You know, me with no Phoenix Downs or Revives over here. Damn it, do I really not have any Phoenix Downs? Okay, I do. I have two. Sorry, Refia. Alright. Of course, dude's just gonna attack them both, though, again. With lightning, yeah. <sighs> yeah, alright, that's that sucks. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. <sighs> I'll have to figure out something else. I just I just don't know what to do right now. I'll probably look it up and figure out good strategies for him, or recommendations and stuff. Maybe Bard has some cool support stuff that'll like shield us and shell us and stuff maybe, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, that's uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this game down for a few minutes.
Alright, so, um... I've been playing for, like, maybe 20 minutes. I, uh, thought that I had hit record, but I didn't. Luckily, I looked over and saw that it was not recording, so... Yay. Um, basically, I found out... Uh, I did a little bit of research on this boss that I'm having trouble with, and all of the sites recommend a party of just straight dragoons, so... I have made everyone dragoons. Um, and I'm, I'm still doing some battles and stuff. Maybe it hasn't been 20 minutes, maybe it's only been like 10, I don't know. But I've done a couple battles, I'm still getting everyone used to it. Um, excuse me. Uh, I went and I bought some more thunder and wind spears so that everyone has one wind spear, one thunder spear. Uh, and then I had enough dragon mail and um, dragon helms for everybody. But I heard that the feathered hat is good against the uh, boss's lightning attack. So I gave that to Ingus just because someone was going to have it. Um, so, yeah, everyone, everyone's a dragoon. Yay. I'm so excited that I don't have my thief or, or my white mage anymore. Yay. Uh, <laughs> everyone's a dragoon. Hopefully it'll make the fight go a lot easier. I'm just trying to get everyone uh, transitioned into the role. And then I'll fight the guy again, and hopefully it'll go a lot better this time than it did last time. Um. Anyway, and as a uh, as a fun fact for me right now, it is 11, 11, 14, 11, 15 right now, at night. Um. I did a really stupid thing to do, uh, today and took a nap at like five, and I didn't wake up until like nine. So, a nice little four-hour nap. Uh, I tried to turn it into sleep. I transitioned from couch to bed to try and just sleep, but it uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so, now it's 11 at night, and what better thing to do than play video games when you can't sleep, right? So, yeah. I wasn't going to stream today, but... Well, can't sleep. What else is there to do? Um... Yeah, and as, like, just another little side note in passing, I got a haircut this week, and I like how my hair looks, yay. Y'all probably can't tell too much, like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's decently shorter, like, like, that much maybe was taken off right around in there. Um, so I notice it, <laughs> but, uh, boyfriend noticed something was different, he didn't... I didn't really give him a lot of time to catch on, so he may have caught on, but probably not. Um, that's okay, I don't love him for his observation skills. <laughs> um, so I... I don't know. I don't really expect anyone to, to notice it. I just, like, show it off, so... Yay, healthy hair. Cut off a whole bunch of split ends. Sorry, I'm looking for the end right now. I don't remember which section it's in or where, it's, where it is. Um, but yeah, uh, cut off a whole bunch of split ends. Uh, not quite all of them. I found a couple afterwards, but that's okay. Got some new shampoo and conditioner that'll really help it out. Um, and yay for healthy hair! I don't think an N is here. Okay. That's fine. Um. Alright, so, uh, next time I see you guys, I will probably be all, um, dragooned up and everyone will be happy in their jobs, and I will be fighting that boss, and hopefully winning this time. Won't that be a nice change of pace? So. Defense is not great. <laughs> These guys are pretty shoddy on, on the defense. So. Oh crap, I didn't see how much the battles were netting me, so I don't know if sleeping in the inn every day is a good idea or not. Uh, let's go check out the prices of high potions and compare the two and see if... Okay, uh, sleeping in the inn is better than a single high potion, so we're definitely gonna do that in lieu of having a healer. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting like 800 gil a fight, so I think it, it's fine. I hope. We'll see! Yeah, having having these dragoons with really crappy defense does not bode well to me. 
But hopefully it'll be okay, because I'll just be jumping all the time, and, and so no one will be able to get a hit on me, right? That's the goal, anyway. That's what the internet says I should do for this boss, so... Guess we'll try it. Okay, so I think I am about ready now. Everyone's happy in their jobs and have just rested up. Um, I... Uh... I went ahead and shifted the feathered hat over to Refia because she's still doing like crazy awesome physical attacks without even jumping. Um, so I don't know. I might have her stop jumping and do that. Might not during the fight. I don't know. We'll see how it happens. But if she does wind up staying on the ground, um, the feathered hat gives some really good magic defense and she's going to need that if the dude starts lightning at us again. So. I figured that would be a, a good call there. Um, I'd say she could be our, our healer if needed, but her attack is way too good for that. And also, everyone's going to need to be healing themselves, because otherwise they'll just be jumping in and out and we'll never know when if a heal will go off or not. And I don't want to be wasting potions and stuff, so... Everyone for themselves. Um, okay, let me uh, save and head on in there and see if we can do it this time. <laughs> I wish I could just, like, skip the scene. <laughs> I've seen it so many times already. Side note, why are they sleeping in their armor? Like, I get it, Dragon Knight's always gotta be prepared or something, but you don't gotta be sleeping in your armor. Alright, here we go again. <laughs> Yet again. Just, just jump. Just, just frickin' jump at him. Just bah! There we go. Everyone follow suit. That's okay. That's okay. You've got this. Stiff up stiff upper lip arc. That's what I'm talking about. That is what we need. Oh my god, Refia, did you see that? Two thousand? Jesus. Refia, you are on fire. But not literally, or else I'd cry. Also, my blanket keeps slipping off and it makes me very sad because then my shoulder gets cold. I don't like being cold. <laughs> Alright! 3,000?! Uh, dude! Refia! My man! <laughs> Very nice, very nice. And I refunded the cost of one of those um, wind spears, so. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, cool. Now we can all go back to never being dragoons again. Except maybe, I guess, once in a while, because it seems pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we get new jobs soon and I can be devout and stuff. And I've totally not even been paying attention to these dialogue things because I forgot that this is new to me now. <clears throat> Aelus, my son, Gigameth had put a spell on me. I was afraid you would never forgive me for what I had done to you. But you came back. That is what gives me enough strength to break Gigameth's, Gig Gigameth's bonds. Aelus, the kingdom is yours now. Stop the war and bring peace back to its people. I'm counting on you, son. Father, don't go! I love you, Alice. Aelus, Alice, Alice. He want a daughter, he want to name her Alice but he got this kid instead, so he just still called him Alice. <laughs> sorry. Serious, serious sad moment. I'm sorry. We're, we're in mourning now. You have my thanks. If it were not for you, I would have hated my father forever. No, sire. You would never stop loving your father. Thank you, Ark. I will take my father's place on the throne and undo what he was made to do against his will. That was his wish. You have my eternal thanks. You have saved Serenia, Ser Saronia and my father from Gigameth. Yeah, I'm sure my mispronouncing names is definitely not taking you guys out of the immersion at all. It's very imperative that I continue to do this for you. All hail King Alice. You'll make a good king, I'm sure of it. All right. Great, now that that's over, let's uh, immediately revert to our former selves.
Oh, she still needs a battle to go from that to thief, even though there's like... She's like level 74 and dropped. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Um... Alright, you be a white mage again. And then... Who else? I have Luna and Ingus. I don't know what I want to do with you guys, so you just stay where you are. <laughs> um, Alright, I had Boomerang and Poison Dagger going on. Uh, black Cowl, I suppose, along with Black Garbs, probably. Yeah. And then uh, Thief Gloves. Whoop, whoop. You had some stabs going on. No, I wanted light stab. Get lightning on my easy quick cast. Okay. And then I'll figure out you guys at some point. I don't know. Maybe you'll stay dragoons. What do I know? Oh yeah, I can zoom in to examine things. Uh, nothing. Okay. This looks like a secret. Cool. I'm glad that my instincts were not unfounded. Deuce arrows. Rusty mail. That's exciting. Ice rod. Dragon hammer. Ooh, that sounds cool. Main gauge. Gosh, gosh. Tome of fire. Scholar hat. So there's just a mixed bag of stuff in here, it seems. Um, and I think I already have most of this stuff. Uh, except, except maybe the Selene bow and some of the tomes. Which, eh, whatever. Did I go into like a main part of the area now? Uh, no, no, it's still secret. Okay. Here we go. Don't mind if I do raid all of your stuff. Gaia Vest, Viking Mail, Dragon Helm, Viking Helm, Rusty Mail, and Earthen Bell. Cool. Maybe I'll be a Geomancer again. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, just check to see if there's other paths and stuff. Uh, doubtful. It looks like they're making it clear when they're secrets by the, uh, the the crumbly roof there. At least in this area. Uh, I don't remember seeing that kind of stuff in other areas, so... Maybe I was not looking hard enough, but, uh, who knows. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that's, that's it. <laughs> Don't really know which way to go right now, so I will just go up, I suppose. Alright, people, what's up? Gigameth's power is darkness itself. Darkness corrupts people's hearts. When you lose hope, darkness comes in to fill the void. Okay. With a timber reaching the world of dream, Noah's the Oh, you're one of the poet guys. And it was loot lies in a silence extreme in the Temple of Time, as it would seem. Okay, so that's probably some, like, ultimate weapon for a bard, I guess. And that's, like, a clue where you can find it. I don't know. King Alice never shows his pain, but he lost his mother when he was young, and now his father. There is a secret passage to the treasure room on the first floor of this tower. Yep. Found it. Thanks. Thanks anyway. Beneath the sea, under the waves at morn, is the temple sundered by the god's scorn, south of Seronia, between the two horns. Okay, that's probably important. Um, under the waves, between two horns, so I'm gonna have to go under the sea at some point. Maybe Ariel can help us. I must not let my father down, not only must I bring peace to Seronia, but the whole world as well. There is much work to do, and there will be time to mourn later. Please feel free to take anything and serve it. Anything you say. Good, because I already rated your treasure notes. Um, anything that can help you on your journey, that is the least we can do. Good, because I rated all of your stuff. Thanks. Glad that you've given me permission now to do it. That since I've already done it. 